what I did was I took my two little pieces of silver and um, put them through the plastic and that kind of holds them upright. And I use the second mason jar just to hold them whenever they're not immersed in the distilled water because you're going to repeatedly uh, reheat uh, the water to try and keep it near boiling while you are cooking, so to speak, your uh, colloidal silver. So now what we're going to do is hook up a positive electrode, clamp it right there, and then we're going to hook up a negative one, and we're going to just hook it up sort of opposite. So they're, they balance each other because they're kind of heavy. Sorry guys, have a hard time holding the phone and showing you what I'm doing at the same time. So you see they're balanced. Now my microwave went off and we're going to check the temperature. Oh, there it is, I'm putting on a oven mitt. And now we're going to check the temperature. Okay, and 212, remember, is boiling, so we want it near boiling. Mind you, I've done this quite a bit, so I know four minutes is about right for my wet microwave. You'll have to kind of Experiment. Everybody's microwave is a little different, and of course, you do it on the stovetop. Just do it by the temperature. Okay, so 210, close enough for me. I don't like to um, overheat the solution because um, you can overheat it to the point where if you then stimulate the so solution, it will uh, kind of erupt and sort of boil over onto your hands and maybe burn you, so you don't want to do that. All right, so now we're basically all ready to cook. There's my battery charger. I am going to set this on the 12 volt, it's already there. Um, let's see, 12 volt, two amp charge. I'm sorry, that's not very clear. I don't know why it's not. I guess it's just my lovely cell phone. Let's see if I make it larger. Yeah, I guess you can kind of sort of see that. So anyway, mine's the one in the middle. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And now we are cooking. You should hear a hum at this point. And you are making your colloidal silver. And you will start to notice over time that one electrode is going to be a milky white color and the other one's going to be a black color and that's going to be perfectly normal. Um, I don't usually clean my electrodes except for in between batches so um, <clears throat> you don't really need to worry about that. I did think that when I first got it, uh, cleaning between batches uh, must not be necessary and I found out the hard way my uh, electrode fell apart and that's why they're about half as long as they were when I got them. So I'm currently uh, using two pieces that had uh, split in half and I learned you know go ahead and clean them in between your batch but you don't need to do it during the batch. So um, I let it cook for about 15 minutes and then I re will reheat this water I will redo that multiple times until I get a nice golden color, just like what I'm looking for. You'll see it when we're done. <laughs> 